Another really interesting question from our California travels is all about driverless cabs. The Waymo experience that we showcased a few weeks ago and that viral video that we posted on the India Today social media channels. So Pooja asks a really interesting question. Do you think driverless cabs would ever work in a country like India? Now, honestly, I don't think that most Indian cities are equipped for driverless cabs. Our traffic situation is not the same, the way we follow and don't follow the rules, smart grids, all of these are missing. Also, our connectivity needs to be a lot better. But I came across a very interesting story because while we are seeing these driverless cabs in some parts of Asia and in San Francisco and in the US, there are some issues, teething issues, and it's very interesting to see that sort of intersection point where technology and society meet. And then, of course, there's regulation and policy. All of these questions are cropping up in San Francisco as well. And tech companies are trying to figure out how to overcome these hurdles. And human beings, all of us, especially in our building complexes, are getting used to it as well. Here's a snippet from the viral neighborhood in San Francisco where the residents aren't very happy about AI and driverless cabs. Have a look. Things you see in America, in the Bay Area when you're reporting here, what you saw just past us right now is a Waymo, a driverless cab that you've seen on the show and you've seemed to have enjoyed our driverless cab experience. I have as well. It just drove past me and there's a bunch of them trying to park, get in and out. This is one of the first parking lots here in downtown San Francisco which houses these Waymos. So a driverless cab picks you up, drops you to your location, but then it needs to park. This one seems to be leaving. I shouldn't look like a stop sign, else it will stop. It's trying to get out right now as we speak. I'm here on the footpath. Let's see how quick and good the algorithm is, but I'll tell you a little bit more whilst it is happening as well. So the car's gonna get out most likely, either it's going to the yard to get recharged or it is going to pick someone up. But the cool part is that you can see how much is charged. Have a look at it. There's no one inside that cab. But the best part is that this is a place where you would imagine that they would be housed very peacefully, given the fact that there aren't humans inside the car. But the residents around this posh neighborhood in downtown San Francisco are really irate. They're really angry that these Waymos come in and out, but not without making a sound. Often when they are parking, there's car horns blazing. They start the signals, the LiDAR sensors, something's going off with them that they make this noise. They're usually pretty well behaved. We've seen some of them being pulled over even when the authorities pull them over for any violation, over speeding and stuff like that. But in this case, it's this particular car and this particular parking lot. So it's kind of fascinating that when technology meets human beings, sometimes it's a boon, sometimes it's a bane. But in this case, it's been a pain for the neighborhood and for the residents of this neighborhood. It's just fascinating. I mean, we show you all the cool things that technology does. We also need to show you some of the impediments, some of the hurdles that you need to cross. This is something Waymo will need to fix. How will they do it? Let's see. But for now, this is a ground report. Things you see in America on Tech Today.